Hello Rugby fans and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here with another episode on my Bristol Bears World League on EA Sports Rugby 08. So far we are undefeated, not lost a game. We put in some good, good performances, whether that's in the Knockout Cup, uh, which we are through two rounds, or in the league. I mean, if we take a quick look at the standings, you will see in our division, we played for 1-4. We are in fourth place. There are a few teams that haven't lost a game yet, but in this upcoming episode, we are playing bottom of the table, Biarritz, if that's even how you pronounce it, I do not know. Um, so yeah, we've got that to look forward to in today's episode. Please do drop a like if you're looking forward to it. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you think of this series. And of course, if you haven't already, please do more that subscribe button. Do we go home or away in this one? I'm thinking we probably go home against Biarritz. Away from home. Why does it keep saying home away kit down the bottom there? I do not know. Either way, let's get into this game. No more messing around. Can we continue our undefeated streak in this bottom division? Look at this lovely, lovely stadium here in France. Good scenery. The trees are out. Everything's looking beautiful. Ah, oh, and it's put us in our away kit. Why has it done that? Here we go. The Biarritz forwards and backs. Nothing more than a win should do today, considering they are bottom of the table. And we are right up there. There's Siva Nalago. Of course, we've got Retallic there still in the team. Keep looking at recruitment, but this game, I just want to go all out. I want to get all stars. I want to get big names in rugby. So I'm only going to be picking up players when those sorts of legends become available, shall we say. Um, Sheedy to get the game underway. And this, I'm afraid in terms of kits is going to be a real pain in the backside straight away with the big kit in to touch let's see if we can get straight away yes we can urine terrible pass i would love someone to pick that up sheedy some good work there. This really is going to be hard work trying to tell the teams apart. Purdy instantly going under. We've done nothing but good work so far. And as I say that, we give the ball away with a terrible pass. Can we close that down? We can. The old Gary Owen, the up and under. Charles Piertal bursting through as he does. Lovely from him. Don't offload there, Charles, because you're right on the touchline. Let's see if we can get a bit of Dan Thomas barging through. Now Chris Vui using his shoulder to get through. We're making up some good, good ground. Sheedy with a drop goal attempt, which has gone absolutely nowhere. But they have knocked the ball on, have they? They have. Sheedy went for the drop goal. Still adamant. I'm going to make one of them at some point. Went for the kick. Got tackled from behind. Yeah, not sure exactly what I think there about all that. But we've got a scrum anyway. Ah! Yaritz have turned it and you would expect... A big kick to touch on the 22 line. And we got a fight on. A bit of a scrap. Love it. Come on, the Bears. Sort them out. Breaking it up on the ground there. Referee warning Sheedy and Semi. The Aritz players. Can they get up? Another good line out for once, and urine. 
up and under from Sheedy. Was that really the right time to do that? We don't know. And they called the mark. Fitz Harding offload to Retallic back inside. And to be fair, the Aritz have kept us fairly quiet to begin with. Sheedy. O'Connor. This is more like it. Some ball in hand rugby. Semi Radradra diving for the corner. And just as I said, they were giving us a good game. Semi dives for the line to get the first try of the game. Beautiful stuff. The Aritz players are not happy. Callum Sheedy from the touchline. Steady in this one. Looking at the goalposts. Taking a step back. He's taking his time over this. Let's see what he's got. There is a bit of wind here, so we're going to aim it out to the left. See what happens. Whoa! Yeah, not as predicted. Absolute shambles of a conversion, but he picks it up again now. He's gone through the gap again. He's gone for the grubber. Well, that was certainly interesting. Piertau with the up and under. Instant tackle. Good work from them. Bit of possession. Probably their first bit of possession of the game. They've dived through. Good tackle, Retallick. And they are on our 22. Another good tackle by Fitz Harding, I think, that time. And are they going for their own drop goal? Whatever happened, they've hit the post. Where's the ball landing? Luatour, I think. Sheedy with the big kick away. Advantage Bristol. Player offside. Penalty to Bristol. Biarritz with the drop goal. Which, uh, you know, would have put them right in the mixer. Sheedy's not even going to hit touch there. I always go too adventurous. We've won it back. Here's O'Connor with the offload to Stephen Luatua. Playing dangerously here. Purdy. That one's going to land not in touch again. Good tackle. Yeah, this hasn't been as easy as I thought it would be, that's for sure. I was expecting a similar game to how we played against Bath. And they broke into our 22. We've won the ball back. Semi. With a bit of trouble. Nolago to O'Connor. And we're away. Ah, and there's that pit clash again. I thought that was our player on the wing. And it wasn't. Luckily for us, we've tackled him into touch. Line out Bristol. Another good one from us. Urine. Sheedy looking to break. I mean, we should... They've turned it over. There's another fight going on. These guys really have some bad blood. Two fights in one game so far. Referee again getting involved. We're going to punt this. I mean... We had... Um, Yeah, we had won the ball. 
And that'll do for the first half. Well, that had a bit of everything. A close game, one try, a missed conversion, a drop goal that hit the posts, two scraps. What are we going to see in this second half? Cole Sinclair picks the ball up. You're in with the big kick away to Semi, who has broke through the gap. Which way is he going to go? He's going to go right to Sheedy. Sheedy's away. Can he go all the way? I think he can. Looks like he's crunched himself into the posts as well. Bang. I mean, that was a high tackle to begin with. Wouldn't never get away with that in the modern game. And this has got to be an easy one for Shido. Little nudge over the sticks. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. And that finally puts a bit of daylight between us. Really hasn't been as one-sided as the scoreline suggests. And we've got an advantage now. Sheedy picks the ball up. So everything seems to be going right for us now. Fitz Harding back inside to Ritalak. We need to get our... First try for Mr. Ritalek. Bui. Shidi. One more. Semi Radradra. Up to the halfway line. Big pass out to Purdy. Piston Purdy makes the break. Comes inside. Little grub up from Shidi. Not quite getting there. Biarritz have the ball back. They'll obviously look to kick into touch, which they do. Simple kick away. And our, well, I was about to say our lineouts have been incredible so far, but first lost lineout of the game. Semi looking to charge that one down. Again, doesn't work. a line out for us. This time we do get hold of it. Sheedy breaks through the gap. Nicely, nicely. Ah, oh, they've won the ball back. I mean, if they play like this throughout the rest of the season, they will not be bottom. They've given us more of a game than Bath have. They've turned a few balls over. You're in. Nice from Andy. And they've turned it over again. This is what I mean. Luckily for us, we've got the hold of the ball now. Hurdy. Little offload to Fitz Harding. Let's go right through the gap for Brody Retellick. Fitz Harding. Slowly making ground. Oh, Sheedy has dropped the ball. Dropped the ball. That was finally going to be the moment that I was going to unleash a drop goal. The infamous drop goal that we've been looking to get involved in this whole World League series. And they are now away with Spate. Up into our half. Luckily for us, we've got hold of the ball. Stephen Luatua with the break. He has got support. He's going to straighten up. He's gone left. No, he hasn't. Hasn't quite got the pass away quick enough. And again, they've turned it over. Nice inside pass. Semi tries to get hold of it. They cannot take him down. Here's O'Connor coming inside. There's only 10 minutes left, so we're not really at any danger of losing this game. And we have got advantage as well. Sinclair, just inside their half. 
Fitz Harding breaking through, making some meterage. Can we finish the game off with an attempted drop goal? Chris Vui. I think we need one more attempt from Carl Sinclair. Right. Here we go. Ah! Oh, someone in the Rugby 08 heavens just does not want us to land a drop goal. What are we going to get now? Are we, have we got the scrum? Yes, we have. We've won it this time. Let's see if we can... Oh, Piers O'Connor. I keep holding that button down way too long. Thought it was Sheedy in the pocket as well. Not sure what's happened here. They've tried to pass it into their own posts. Oh, we've done it too much again. I mean, that was better. That was closer. And now we're in danger. They're away. Are they in touch? It's got to be in touch. The story of the drop goal continues into the next episode. Will we be able to land one? That is the question. But another victory for the Bristol Bears on this World League. Flying up the league. Obviously, the aim of the World League is to get up into that elite division. And so far, we've given this third division a right old good going. Still yet to lose. Let's get ourselves off to the tournament central. to see where we are. Results bonus. Ewan Lloyd is still injured. There's been a couple of trades. Let's get to the standings. Division 3. We've crept up into second. There's only two undefeated teams, and that is Bristol and the Highlanders. And we have got, in the next round... Oh, we've got the third round of the Knockout Cup. We're playing the Blues as well, who are top of Division 1. So, two divisions higher than us. The Mighty Blues. So that'll be interesting in the next episode. Please drop a like if you've enjoyed. Leave a comment down below. Give me your thoughts on this series. If you haven't already, please do more that subscribe button to stay up to date with the channel and all things rugby video games. Thanks a lot for watching again, and I'll see you in the virtual scrum. Man from Bristol. Take two shots of the ting. Come let a band like a pistol. Girl in the party, blowing the ting, just like a whistle Yeah, they love their god, but where we're from, it's more like a crystal Cause man are from Bristol Man are from Bristol Take two shots of the ting, come to a band like a pistol Girl in the party, blowing the ting, just like a whistle